My brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So learning Qur'an is an important course that will help every single one of us, especially our youth, to connect with the Qur'an, to understand more about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us. Now, first of all, we need to remember that these are the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that what we find within the Qur'an is and are lessons for us as human beings from our Creator, told to us by Him specifically, and was given, and He gave the command to the pen to actually write the Qur'an and what we hear today being recited to us. So I want to take a lesson from the Qur'an, insha'Allah ta'ala, if you don't mind, uh, we'll take example from Surah Al-A'raf, verse number 31. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ يَا بَنِي آدَمَ خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِدٍ وَكُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls out to the children of Adam. Ya Bani Adam, khudhu zinatakum inda kulli masjid. Take your beautification, your zina, right? What makes you, you. What makes you outstanding. What makes you super and superb and better than everyone else. خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِدِ From the masjid, at the masjid, while at the masjid. Now, of course, you and I, we think to ourselves, well, what do we do at a masjid? We go to the masjid, we pray. We don't really do more than that. You'll find that there are some classes, some courses that take place, some youth programs that might happen in the masjid. There might be some activities for the elderly. Some of the more... Um, Organized masajid, if we want to call it that, might have more projects for the community. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِدٍ Like, who you are and what defines you as a person, as a believer, as a human being in this world, when you walk the earth and you go from your home to school, you go from your home to work, you go from your home to your friend's place, you go from your home to a restaurant. There are certain things about you that people notice. And those aspects of who you really are will come to you by frequenting the masjid. And in addition to frequenting the masjid, it's not just going to the masjid. What do we do at the masjid? We pray our prayers. So you need to now be someone who prays your prayers regularly. And you also will learn the importance of patience. You learn the importance of time. You'll learn the import you will learn the importance of discipline, right? Because you're going to discipline yourself, making sure that you're praying your prayers on time. These are all aspects of going to the masjid that, inshallah, we'll go through uh, in depth even more uh, throughout the course uh, as we go along from the months of September to February. But I want to continue as well in the verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya bani adam khudhu zinatakum inda kulli masjid wa kunu wa shrabu wa la tusrifu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And eat and drink wa kunu wa shrabu wa la tusrifu. We live at a time where we love to eat and we love to drink. Like every single TikTok video, okay, every other TikTok video is about eating and drinking. It's food. Every other Instagram post is about food and what people ate for lunch or dinner or breakfast or, you know, the, the bubble tea that they're having, the dessert place that they went to, this awesome chai that they're trying, uh, you know, that doesn't taste any better than the chai that your mom and dad make at home anyways, right? Uh, but subhanAllah, that's really what this world is about nowadays, food. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا Eat, drink, enjoy from the bounties, enjoy from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us on earth. وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا But don't waste. Like seriously, don't waste. Don't waste the bounties, the mercy, the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That food is a blessing. That food gives you nourishment, it gives you energy, it gives you strength to be able to do all of the awesome things that you learned from the masjid. Right? Where you learn to be brave, to be create, courageous, to be, you know, someone who's going to display your deen in your actions. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, don't waste. Inna Allah la yuhibbul musrifeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like those who waste. So this is a very simple, short and sweet example of what we're going to be learning throughout this course, inshallah. I hope that you uh, join us for Learn 
uh, or learning Quran um, throughout to the months of September to February with Al Huda Institute. I'll be teaching you, inshallah. So I look forward to spending that time with every single one of you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah and khayr and goodness in it and make this course beneficial for every single one of us in our lives and also beneficial to the rest of humanity that we become examples of the Quran for the rest of society to learn and benefit from. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.